In this video, we're going to start the CUDA software free worksheet under Infinite Algebra 1, Graphing Inequalities. Now our directions are to draw a graph for each inequality, and the graph we're using is the number line. So for number 1, it says n is less than or equal to negative 5. So let's think about this. n represents all the values, so anything that is less than or equal to negative 5. So we're going to circle negative 5. And we're also going to fill it in because n is less than or equal to. So whenever you have an or equal to, you know that you're going to fill in that circle. And then we're going to shade in everything to the left of that negative 5 because n is less than that. Let's go on to number 2. For number 2, we have n is less than or equal to a positive 5. So we're starting at this positive 5, so go ahead and circle it. And then we have to decide, is it potentially equal to it? Yes, since this is a less than or equal to sign. So fill that in. And then we have to decide which way we're going to shade. N is everything that's less than or equal to that 5. So numbers that are less than 5 are on the left side of 5. So we're going to shade in everything to the left. Number 3, x is less than 1. So we're starting at 1, so go ahead and circle 1. Is it potentially equal to 1? No, because it's just a less than sign, so we're not going to shade in this circle. And then we have to see x is less than 1, so it's going to be everything to the left on the number line. Because that represents all the values that are less than 1. Number 4, r is greater than 2. Our starting point is a positive 2, so circle it r cannot be equal to 2, so we're not going to shade it in, but r is greater than 2, so that's going to be everything to the right of 2. Number 5, n is greater than 5. So we're starting at the 5. Circle that, but do not shade it in, because n cannot be 5. So it's just an open circle around 5, and then it's everything to the right since n is greater than 5. On to number 6, we have r is less than or equal to negative 2. Our starting point is negative 2, and it's less than or equal to negative 2, so we know we're going to shade that in. Less than is everything to the left of that negative 2. So we're going to shade in everything to the left. So r is less than or equal to negative 2. Number 7, k is less than or equal to negative 2. Same as number 6. k represents everything that's less than or equal to, so we're shading in on that negative 2 and then shading everything to the left. Number 8, m is less than negative 5. So locate negative 5, circle it, but we're not going to shade it in because m cannot be equal to negative 5. But it's less than that, so we're going to shade in everything to the left. Number 9, x is greater than or equal to 2. So find the 2, circle the 2, x is greater than or equal to that. So we know we're shading in 2 because x can be 2 or greater than 2. So we're going to shade in to the right. Negative 5 is greater than or equal to v. So we're going to find negative 5, circle it, and v can be negative 5, so we're going to shade it in. And it says that negative 5 is greater than or equal to v. So negative 5 is the maximum value that v can be. So even though it doesn't say less than, we're going to shade everything to the left. And this is a little different than what we've been doing, because previously on this worksheet, whenever we've had a greater than, we shade to the right. However, the variable is on that right-hand side. So negative 5 is greater than or equal to v can also be written as v is less than or equal to negative 5. Negative 5 is greater than all of those v values. So since that's the greatest number v can be, we have to go to the left on the number line. Number 11, negative 2 is greater than or equal to v. Same concept as before. We're going to find the negative 2, circle it. V can be negative 2, 
So we're going to shade in on that negative 2. And the way this is read is negative 2 is greater than or equal to V. So negative 2 is the maximum value that V can be. So V can go all the way up to negative 2, but it can't go over that. So negative 2 is the greatest value. So we're shading everything to the left. For number 12, x is less than 5, so we're going to locate 5, circle it, x cannot be 5, so we're not going to shade it in, but x is less than 5, so all the x values are less than 5, so shade to the left. Number 13, negative x is greater than or equal to a positive 2. Since our variable is negative for number 13, we're going to have to do a little bit of math before we graph it. So we have negative x is greater than or equal to 2. At the start, we're going to have to divide by a negative 1. That way we get a positive x value. Dividing by a negative 1 will give us that x, because negative x divided by negative 1 is a positive 1x, which is x. And since we divided by a negative, we're going to have to switch the sign. So as opposed to being greater than or equal to, it's going to be less than or equal to. And then 2 divided by negative 1 is a negative 2. So now we will graph x is less than or equal to negative 2. Start by finding negative 2 on the number line. Circle it. And x can be negative 2, so we're going to shade in that negative 2. And x is everything less than or equal to that negative 2, so we're shading in to the left. Let's move on to number 14. Again, our variable is negative, so we're going to have to switch the signs. So we have 5 is greater than or equal to negative a. We're going to divide by negative 1 on both sides to get that negative 5 is less than or equal to, since we're switching the sign, a positive a. This is our new inequality. So we're going to find negative 5 on the number line, circle it, and a can equal the value negative 5, so we're going to shade in that negative 5, and negative 5 is less than or equal to a. So negative 5 is the minimum value that a can be. So a can be anything to the right of that negative 5. So a can be negative 5 or greater, so shade in to the right. Number 15, x is less than or equal to 2. Locate the positive 2 on the number line and circle it. x can be equal to 2, so shade it in. And x is everything less than or equal to that 2, so we're shading in to the left. On to number 16, x is less than or equal to 5. Locate positive 5 on the number line, circle it. x can be 5, so we're going to go ahead and shade that in. And x is less than or equal to that 5, so it's everything to the left. For number 17, we have negative 5 is greater than b. Find the negative 5 on the number line, circle it, and we're not shading it in because b is not less than or equal to negative 5, B is only less than. So negative 5 is the maximum value that B can be, since negative 5 is greater than B, so we're shading in to the left. For number 18, we have negative 2 is greater than B. Locate negative 2. B cannot be negative 2, so we're not shading in. A negative 2 is the greatest that B can be, since negative 2 is greater than all of the B values, so we're shading to the left. For the rest of the problems, we have to actually write an inequality for each graph. So for this first one, let's go ahead and use the variable a. You can see that the 5 is shaded in, and then we're shading everything to the left of that 5. So a is going to be less than 5 or equal to 5. So a is less than or equal to 5. For number 20, we're shading everything to the left of negative 1, but we're not shading in negative 1. So pick any variable. This time, let's go ahead and use r. r is less than negative 1 because it's everything to the left of negative 1, but not including negative 1. For number 21, pick a new variable. 
let's say x this time. Notice that we circled negative 1 and shaded everything to the right. Since we shaded to the right, this negative 1 is the minimum value, so x is everything greater than negative 1. For number 22, negative 5 is the circled value, and we're shading in everything to the left of negative 5, but not including negative 5. So let's use a variable b, and we can say that b is less than negative 5, because it's everything shaded to the left of negative 5 and does not include negative 5. Number 23, we have the 2 circled, and we're shading everything to the left. So we know our variable is going to be less than and not including 2. So this time, let's say y as our variable is less than a positive 2. And finally, the last problem on this worksheet, number 24. But before we go over that, go ahead and like this video, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now, number 24, negative 5 is circled and shaded in. And everything to the left of that negative 5 is also shaded. So we know that our variable, let's call it x, is everything to the left and includes that negative 5. So we can say that x is less than or equal to negative 5. Because x can be negative 5 and a half, negative 6, negative 7, and so on. Negative 100, negative 2, 3, 2, etc. X can be any of those values, so we're shading to the left.